Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to review the Bricks theme from Thomas Elrig, Arig, I forgot his name. Uh, who is Thomas, and why am I such a big fan of his work? Well, Thomas did the Happy Files plugin. I'm sure he's did a couple others. I can't remember right now, but his work is solid. His coding is great, and what I love is his. He's, he's a visionary. I think he creates simple solutions that are very unique, that solve real world problems, that are really like, anything he creates is to solve problems. It's not just like a business idea. He's not just rehashing uh, successful products out there and putting his own spin on it to make money. I love what he does. I think he's a true developer in, in every sense of the, the word. A developer, a creator, an artist, and a pioneer in the WordPress community. So let's talk about this Bricks theme, what it is, uh, what it does. So, by the way, it's super cheap, $149 uh, lifetime license, and you can use it on as many sites as you want. I highly recommend it, uh, I think it's worth it. And I don't just say this about every product, okay? So I think it's worth it, even if you only use it for two sites, I think it's worth it, a lot of fun to use. So let's talk about the existing, the, existing, uh, the current landscape right now with the whole WordPress Gutenberg thing. You have people who want to use page builders, and then you have people who want a fast site. And if you want a fast site, you kind of have no choice but to use Gutenberg. But when you use Gutenberg, you get an editing experience that, while is maybe okay for people like me, might not be okay for people who are accustomed to Elementor, Divi, and all that, right? Because this is, this is the Gutenberg editor experience right now. This is what it looks like. You go here and you pick a block, right? And uh, okay, fine. I, I use uh, media and text, whatever. Right, and then I pick another block. And, and it's fine, it's super fast. For me, it makes total sense, but maybe for clients or maybe somebody who's not so used to Gutenberg, they want something different. They want something that looks like the front end. They don't wanna see all this wasted white space. They don't wanna design complicated layouts with only, what, 800, 700 pixels worth of screen width. So, we have this battle, because then you can, yeah, sure, you can, you can install Stackable, you can install Cubely, but even then, that is still, I mean, it's close, it's closer, but it's still not the full page builder experience. You also have this other issue, this other issue where you install a theme and then you install a page builder and then they fight with each other, right? Like, like which one has control over the typography and which one has control over the color styles and all that. So anyways, with, um, Bricks, with, with the Bricks theme, the Bricks theme has a built-in page builder, uh, which is the Bricks, Bricks builder, that's what it's called. Um, if I go through this, of course, it's gonna look nice and all that, but let's just try to see what it looks like in the back end. So, uh, first off, when you first start, uh, when you first install and activate the Bricks theme, um, you have these like little quick, quick sections, sections that you should read, and I highly recommend it. It's super fast, it's super easy. It will take like two minutes for each one, and we'll sup it'll explain, it's, it's super simple, but you really should read it. Uh, the one that I like the most was this one, and I like to have this one open while I'm working with it. I just literally practiced using this thing for 10 minutes before right now. So it's not gonna be a long video, and because I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So once you've got it installed, you're gonna go to the brick settings. You enable it, I'm sorry, leave this alone. Enable it for every post type that you wanna be able to edit with the Bricks Builder. Uh, and then from here, you can determine um, if you wanna make all your templates publicly accessible so other people can copy your templates, or you can make it so that only your other sites that you have access to can copy your templates. I think it's really cool. Um, that's just gonna open the door for so many community templates and whatnot. Here are the API keys for certain um, Bricks content blocks if you're going to use them. Uh, and then now we're ready to start playing. So normally, let's go here to page. All right. Uh, normally we go to like, uh, I made a demo page and normally we edit it like this. And sorry, I, I'm, I'm on an island in Mexico, okay? So the internet's not so fast. Normally it's like that, but now, leave that, we do edit with bricks and we get the Bricks page builder. This is just the first revision. 
And already, I think it's, it's pretty awesome. I think it's great. Clearly, this guy has had a lot of time. He's thought out many little different things uh, that users would appreciate. So, oh, sorry. Okay, I already built a page. So let's, let's do something new, yeah? Let's create one. I should have did this while I was doing all this talking. Okay, great. And let's go back here. Let's go back to pages and let's edit with bricks. If you're a page builder user and you're trying to convert away from, from using page builders to use Gutenberg because it's faster, but you are having problems, this is the ultimate theme for you. By the way, in case you guys want to see views of the beach, beautiful views, beautiful people, beautiful food. And then there's me, I'm beautiful. Okay, uh, all right. So here it is, it looks exactly like a page builder. You just drag and drop elements onto there. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna start with the template right away. And here, my templates, I don't have any. Let's go to community. And uh, let's, pick, let's pick a header, yeah? Let's throw a header into there. Um, how about this one? Okay, and then I'm gonna throw maybe uh, content. All right, I mean, normally you, you would match the style, but who cares? Who the hell cares? There you go. <coughs> Super easy, and as you can see, if I click on this, I can edit the content of that block, that content block here, and then I can also edit the style, right? Very simple, really easy to understand. Um, if I go up here, I can see the structure, which is very useful when you want to get precisely to a certain one. Uh, or if you want to drag things around, can we drag? Oh, wait, no, no, it's just for editing. Okay, um, if I go up here, then now I'm editing only the hover styles. I go here, I can edit all the pages. This is really cool. Um, this is a, a, a unique take on the editing experience because you're, you're, from here on out, you're dealing with only the Bricks Builder experience, right? You're not skipping back to, to the WordPress dashboard. That it's a couple seconds each time, could be annoying. I really appreciate this. I really, pre I never needed it, but I really appreciate it. Okay, and then over here we go to revisions, so we can, you know, discard, apply, skip back and forth, right? Undo, redo, all that. Okay, and then uh, from here we go to settings, and we can go to the page settings. So uh, whatever, you know, disable header or footer. If you if you don't want to use the global header design that you made, you can, you know, for this landing page, you create its own one-off, uh, unique situation. SEO and whatnot, all the different options. Um, then here we can also go to theme styles. Um, you, so I'm gonna apply like a global theme style right now. Right, and then we can decide uh, what the global style is gonna be. Uh, you can choose from a bundle or you can hack your own, right? Um, you can easily uh, preview your content at different sizes. And I love how it's right here, I don't know why. It's just so, it's so intuitive to have it here. I feel like this builder has everything I need, but doesn't take up so much space, doesn't take me uh, forever to learn how to do anything. Um, then over here to preview, check out this preview mode. Boom, preview right there, done. You wanna see it on the front end, click that, and you see it on the front end. So, I mean, I think it's magical. And all this is done using Gutenberg blocks. The, the, the native Gutenberg blocks elements. So I think it's so clever. I think it's really so clever. Your site is gonna be bla you know, blazing fast um, and you still get to have the page builder experience. Now, uh, are, are, there, are there any cons? So yes, I, I'm, tr I'm really trying to nitpick this thing. So the first con that came to mind is that sometimes it's annoying to delete stuff. So here I'm gonna try to delete this element. I have to click sure and then you see, it was hard, like maybe, maybe I click again. Oh, that's what it is. I just click again and it, it disappears. Okay, well, now I feel stupid because I, I made a bigger deal than, than had to be done. Okay, so just click in the same place and it disappears. Okay, I was trying to like click the word sure, the tag sure, and, and I kept misclicking. All right, so I'm a noob. Um, the, only, the only other complaint really is that maybe there's not enough like super polished designs on here. And that's totally fine because it's, it literally just came out. Um, you know, ooh, we can choose to replace the content. We can choose, 
whether or not to import the images with the, the with with the template or not. I love that. So um, now, what about for content that is already created, right? Because that's going to be uh, a question. For content that's already created, you can, uh, I guess, convert that Guten existing Gutenberg data into bricks, or you can convert it the other way, where you save existing bricks as Gutenberg data. I think that's what that means. Um, overall, you know, guys, I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan of this experience. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. If you are a heavy hardcore page builder user, but you want to like convert your way into Gutenberg and you hate the Gutenberg experience so far, Bricks theme is ultimately that you have to get it. Uh, okay, so for you guys, you gotta get it. Now what about for someone like me? I'm a developer, I know what I'm doing. I love the existing Gutenberg editor already. I've got no problems with it. But I gotta say, I kinda enjoy the visualness of this, right? Um, it's con it's it's. It's using the native, it's using the native WordPress Gutenberg editor. Um, it's also probably relying on the native uh, full site editing capability. I don't know if it is, but it, but anyway, um, and I love that it, it's everything's harmonious. Everything works together. It's fast. It's clean. It's easy. Um, I could see myself enjoying this on a couple sites. You know, maybe for a couple sites where I want to have, you know, some custom template and theme parts and I don't, I'm too lazy to code it from scratch and ACF this and all that. Uh, I think the Bricks Builder is, it has a lot of room to be a super powerful tool. Um, once people start building add-ons for it, once people start throwing uh, third-party uh, templates out there, it's incredible. So, you know, the only question left is for 150 bucks, should you buy it? Is it really a must-buy? Like, ah... I hate to do this because I hate that Thomas did this because he's throwing a wrench into my my already full toolbox. I think it's a great deal, you guys. Even if you use it for only two sites, you know he's. It's a very unique solution, and more important than just creating a new product, he's creating a new workflow. It's a new way of working within WordPress that I think could be more efficient and more fun for many developers out there. I really believe it. Um, if if you're you want a minimalist theme that doesn't, doesn't wrestle with your page builder. You want to use Gutenberg, but with a page builder, a more page builder-ish workflow. You want a page builder that doesn't lag your site and give you awful scores, awful page scores. Bricks Builder, the Bricks theme is, is an easy winner. Uh, for $150 lifetime license, it's a no-brainer. So you know, even if it was $100 a year, I think it's a no-brainer. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will put this into a, uh, I will do a write-up on this and, and release it on my site. But other than that, I think it's a win all around. I really tried to poke at this and I, I told Thomas already I was gonna criticize it, but actually I really love it. This thing is freaking awesome. See you guys next time. Peace out from Mexico.